All right. Good morning and uh, welcome back, everybody. Anybody that's new here, thanks for joining me today. Obviously, if you're seeing this, I succeeded. Uh, it is like 3 a.m. and I'm going to just start driving until I contact hard stuff. Hard water. I need ice. Going crazy. Um, this might be a very, very, very long drive. Or, I mean, it could be as short as four hours. could be as long as ten. So, that's what we're working to, what, uh, working with today. Um, got all the stuff for panfish gear. I got a couple uh, iFish Pros, uh, those guys, and I'm going to set them out from probably some perch and some walleye possibly later today. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get there early enough unless there's a daytime bite. Um, but I literally am just kind of covering the gamut and yeah, going to be sleeping in my truck tonight. So that's going to be cold. But I did it the other day. If you guys follow me on on Instagram at DWSDave31, uh, basically was doing a test run the other day in my driveway. I slept in my truck, <laughs> and uh, it was a little uncomfortable, but it was warm. It was actually a lot warmer than I thought it was going to be, even though it was only like 20 degrees outside. So, <sighs> hopefully, if you guys are seeing this, I found some ice. I'm standing on ice. <laughs> oh, it's almost, it felt like this day wasn't going to come. Um, I have some long spudding to do out that direction. Um, right now it seems like I'm on about three and a half, four inches of ice. Uh, I've been hitting the ice every four or five feet. I'm not going swimming. I'm all alone right now. I do have somebody that's going to come out and visit me, um, but not till later. So I have to work my way out. One thing I want to make sure everybody understands when you use a spud bar, swing it. <laughs> Don't, I see so many videos of guys walking around like just poking the ice. Swing the thing like you mean it. Um, obviously you'll know once you get used to it, like how many, like how it breaks the ice and all that stuff. But uh, if I swing this thing pretty hard, I'm, I'm not going through, I'm over three, closer to four inches of ice. Um, might even be four inches. Um, when there's no snow on the ice too, gets harder faster it was real cold here last night um so yeah i'm gonna get my stuff together and i'm gonna head out there uh now let's catch some fish
Okay, first things first. Gonna do my go to crappy lure is one of these little ultralight rip and wraps number three. For whatever reason, they like to eat this glow up no matter what time of the day it is. So we got the, the new bull whip. And then the new, uh, well, this is new last year. It's my 32 inch precision. That's a 36 inch bull whip, so I can hole hop around with it. Um, but this precision is like my kind of go to light jigging rod. Works really good for these little rip and wraps and stuff. It's more of a feel rod, so with crappie, you really got to pay attention to the line and the tip of the rod and like basically watching your electronics like a hawk. But let's uh let's see if we can find some crappie in this basin out here. I'm gonna leave my sled here until I find some fish. The key on first ice, because this is my first ice, and then uh, this area just got ice. I'm in northern Wisconsin if you guys want to know. Um, but the key here is I'm only on like three and a half inches of ice. Uh, so I punched a bunch of holes over the basin here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hole hop until I mark some fish. Uh, I'll drop my whip and wrap down the hole for a little bit, each one, to see if there's anything nearby. But otherwise, you gotta move, move, move until you start marking fish. Um, I'm just gonna take the two rods and my fish locator. Leave this here, don't make a bunch of noise, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to be quiet and hopefully stick some fish. Okay, so uh, like I was saying, I'm gonna just drop down a couple times. See if anything's underneath this hole specifically. If nothing shows up, then I'm gonna move. Move until you find them. Crappie are fun that way. You just move until you find them. All right, let's move. Usually if there's crappie in the area for first ice, they'll, they'll show themselves fairly quickly. Ooh, there might be something right there on the bottom. Yep. Did I find the school? This guy's hot. Got him. <laughs> I blew the first hook set. <laughs> he went up and down like 12 times. I wasn't expecting it to happen. <laughs> uh, yeah. I got a school over here. It's the same ice. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming out, Tim. <laughs> it's uh, a custom jigs and spins lightning spoon with with a metal head. Yeah, they might be turning on. You got to get them to go up and down a couple times. That's a big school of fish. <laughs> come on. Come on, commit. There we go. Come on. <laughs> Let me catch this one. I got one. <laughs> Uh, that that took too much that took too much work. <laughs> so that took way too much work. <laughs> I have a school Yep. I got a school of like 20 of them below me. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can do that again. See 
if we can catch one without a minnowhead. Done it before. Possible interested fish. Yep, here comes one. No bait. <laughs> that feels better. Because it is. Get out of there. <laughs> No bait that time. <laughs> that was a beautiful first ice copy. It's my second one. That'll make you happy. All right, let's let this guy go. Oh, there's a good mark. Yep. <laughs> right away, huh? Yeah. Nice yep. Yeah, good good call. It's just a little guy, but he chit. He came flying in though. This this one didn't like hesitate. He went up. I got him to like eight feet, and then uh, he started going down. And instead of dropping back on him, you reel up like another two feet and hold it. As soon as you saw it go back up the extra two feet, he shot up and swallowed it. <laughs> There's another one. This guy's shooting up. Other guy's chance. Here he comes. Dropped away. Another try? Looks like they're going now. Come on. Right there. He he tried. Oh, he's coming back. Got him. <laughs> <What? laughs> That's a bluegill. Yeah, and he smashed a minnow head. He's got all freaking three troubles in his mouth. <laughs> he chased so fast, so many times, I was like, all right, all right. <laughs> Here you go. Go away. One waiting for me. Hopefully you guys can hear me with this wind, it's crazy. It wasn't supposed to be windy today. There you go. <laughs> that feels like a better one. Nope. <laughs> little dink. Ugh. Got another one! <laughs> You just gotta mess with this 
You just gotta mess with the school. All right, let's see if we can do this without a minnow head instead of rebaiting all the time. Oh, come on. Gotcha. <laughs> Bigger? Bigger. <laughs> oh. See, they're, they're biting. <laughs> you still got that spoon on? No, I never had a spoon on. Oh. Yeah, that's what they're eating. Well, the, you know, the spoon mimics the minnow, so like that's why I was saying you don't even need a minnow head if you get them. This guy's only like 10, 11 inches long, but he's built pretty thick. guys are really white. That bleached look. Super skinny too. They got the minnow head. Alright guys. Uh, so the squeaker. That was the last thing you've probably seen. The little tiny dinky one. Um, I didn't get any giants today. But the upside was this. This is this is the upside. Ice. I, I'm walking. I'm walking on water. <laughs> That's a thing that I enjoy greatly. Um, my cousin actually showed up today. Uh, we couldn't get close to each other because the ice is actually very thin, um, and I didn't want him getting any closer, and he didn't want to get any closer. So. Uh, if you guys seen me or talking to somebody, that's who I was talking to. Uh, he's actually going and checking out a different thing right now. We might fish something else, uh, but w you'll have to stay tuned for those videos later. Um, one big thing I want to say is thank you to anybody who picked up some merch this year. Um, it is going to be helping greatly, but if you haven't picked up any, it's linked in the description below. Um, I'll link everything I use uh, in today's video. Um, down below one thing I'll let you guys know is the main bait that was working because um, I tried th I tried like three different baits um, but the what was that custom jigs and spins lightning spoon that'll be linked in the description below for you guys um, that was the key that with the minnow head and you really had to get them to chase um, it's not normal but I got the crappie to chase like four to five feet and they would commit um, hopefully we can get on some ice uh, somewhere else soon. This is a very small body of water that I've, I know about up north that happens to get ice on it. Uh, if you guys can see, that's like half an inch thick over there because that's not even really, that just froze last night probably. Um, and this is only like three inches thick. I wouldn't go on anything less. Um, use your spud bar, walk safe, enjoy ice. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm looking forward to filming a bunch more of these. You guys know me. I love walking on in the hard water. A lot of you guys do too. So obviously if you're not new here, you know what's up. But if you are new, can you please just remember to?